Hey guys, it's Shalor here. I'm coming back at you with another video. I'm uh, bringing you all in today for another uh, collection video, I'm, I guess. Um, I don't have too many games for this system. I only have around uh, I don't know, 14 or so. I'm trying to build slowly. I mean, uh, for the PS, it's the PS4 collection, by the way. I'm uh, I mainly collect for the Xbox because it's my console of choice for multiplats this generation. So with the PS4, I'm pretty much only buying exclusive games. Because if I can get it for Xbox, I'll get it for Xbox. Keep an eye out for an Xbox One collection video at some point soon. I'm uh, waiting on a lot of games to come in in the mail. I'll make uh, uh, pickup videos for those games coming in. I bought, I'm going to tell you, I bought 80 games so far this month. 80 so yeah, you'll see probably two collection video, uh, two pickup videos for those. I'm trying to split them up. So keep an eye out on that. All right, let's uh, let's get started. The first game is a game by PM Studios, one of my favorite studios that make most of the rhythm games that I enjoy. It's uh, this one is uh, actually a racing game called Horizon Chase Turbo. It's kind of like an old school kind of racer. I think it's kind of like. Uh, like something you'd find in the arcade. Uh, I haven't played it yet, but I've seen gameplay of it. It looked cool. I decided to pick up the physical edition, special edition, from their website when it became available again during a sale. Um, if you haven't played it, I would recommend it. It's, a, it's pretty fun. It's a cheap game. Pick it up digitally if you can. Physically, if you're a physical collector. Next is uh, MLB The Show 17. I just wanted to pick up an MLB The Show to play. Uh, I still want uh, 20 or... 19 because Bryce Harper's on there because you know rep Phillies uh, This one has Ken Griffey jr. On it. I also like the Mariners So I decided to pick it up and play it to get in the hang of that will be the show because I never really uh, played Baseball games that much before so That's worth to give a, a try All right, here's a, a launch exclusive for the ps4. Here's a kill zone shadow fall It's a pretty interesting game. They tried to implement the uh, touchpad uh, controls with the ps4 you know uh, the controller has a touchpad in the middle they tried to make it a gimmick it's not needed i don't know why they did it it's good it's cool though but not really needed it's a pretty decent shooter it's a pretty cheap game as well so if you have like a, a few bucks to spare it's worth the it's worth the play through there's a Red Out Lightspeed Edition. This is a game that's kind of like uh, Wipeout, if you ever played that. That's another game I need to pick up soon for the PS4. Wipeout uh, HD, Wipeout Mega Collection, sorry. Uh, yeah, this game plays like Wipeout. It's a little bit probably worse than Wipeout, but it has a lot more tracks. Uh, it's, this game's also very cheap. I would I would uh, recommend this as well if you like those kind of racers. Uh, kind of like I feel like F-Zero, I never tried the Wipeout series or this series, and definitely worth a shot there's a gravity rush 2 i actually haven't played gravity rush 2 yet i did play the original on the on the vita uh it's kind of like a 3d uh uh kind of like a 3d adventure game uh you're a girl named uh, cat and you have uh powers to control gravity and stuff that's why it's called gravity rush 2 gravity rush yeah it's a pretty good it's a very good game the, the soundtrack is is uh, amazing. Uh, in the first game, at least it was. I'm expecting it to be with this too. Uh, if you like uh, adventure games, if you like kind of like anime style games as well, uh, definitely, definitely worth the pickup if you have a PS4. Here's another exclusive. Uh, the Order 1886. This is a pretty. This is a. This is a good game, but back when it came out, it was definitely not worth the $65 because it's a very short game. It is high quality though, and the, with how short it is, I mean, it's definitely worth uh, how cheap it is now. It's kind of like a third-person shooter. It's like in the Victorian era. Victorian era, uh, you're kind of like aliens and monsters and stuff. It's weird. It's kind of like aliens evading the 1800s. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Here's a game I just picked up on a whim. It's about a Valtherian Arc Hero School Story. Um, it just seemed like an interesting game. I mean, I like anime and I like anime that uh, Japanese game. So it, it, I said it was, I decided it was worth a shot. I haven't played it yet, 
It looks kind of interesting. It's kind of like a uh, kind of like a city builder kind of game. It seems like with a little bit of RPG elements. Uh, it seemed pretty cool. There's a game from one of my. There's two games coming up from my one of my favorite series ever. It is Senran and Kagura. This game is Senran Kagura Burst Renewal. is It is fantastic. If you never got the Senran Kagura series, you gotta play. Them. If you love anime, if you love hack and slash games, if you just wanna get a new uh, anime waifu, there's many to choose from in this game. There's so many different girls. Uh, it's highly sexualized. I mean, if you're into that, check it out, of course. Um, yeah, it's a it's a hack and slash. It's a remaster of the first game. Uh, this this is called it used to be called the Center and Kaga Burst. It was for 3DS. Uh, yeah, I also have the uh, limit the collector's edition for this game. It's right here. It comes. It came in a nice box. Open it up for you here. It can't. It came with. It comes with. They get the the box for the uh, game here. Siren Kagura Burst Renewal. On the inside of this, it comes with the uh, the soundtrack here. Soundtrack. Yeah. The game would normally go in here, of course. And then it also came with these. Uh, I kind of shifted it around, but they're like uh, rubber. Uh, Rubber uh, keychains for uh, for uh, kind of like the duos, the rivalries for each character. Yeah, pretty cool collector's edition. You find it pretty cheap now, so I mean, you might as well buy the uh, collector's edition here for for literally probably like ten more dollars. It's definitely worth it for the box. All right, the the next Sam Cogger game is Peach Beach Splash. This one's a lot different than regular the the regular Sam Cogger series. This one's kind of like a, this is like a third person shooter. Uh, it's like a water gun fight battle, a water gun game. You fight each team and you have to shoot them and then you uh, rip their clothes off with the water, you know, Japanese stuff. This one's a lot of fun too. Also pretty cheap now. Totally recommend it. Uh, yeah. And uh, let me show you that I also have the box for that too. Here it is. I got this for 20 bucks, I believe. Uh, it was a clearance, which is a great deal. Comes with the art book. And it comes with the soundtrack, just like the other one. This one, here. Yep. Uh, I need to get S of All Verses for PS4 eventually. I do own it for the Vita. I just need to get it for the PS4 as well. Uh, it's on my to do list, on my list, you know. Yeah. Here's a Guilty Gear uh, Exerd sign. Uh, I never played this game. I haven't played this game yet. I wanted to get into it because I into the series. It's a 2D fighting game, 2D anime fighting game. I'm uh, I'm into Blaze Blue, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, heard good things about the series. There's a lot of games, and uh, yeah, it was pretty cheap. Definitely worth uh, giving a shot. There's a Persona 5 here. I got this during Black Friday, I think two years ago. Um, was it two years ago? It might have been last Black It could have been Black, last Black Friday. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, um, I haven't played Persona 5 yet. I'm still working on Persona, Persona 4. Uh, it's like an RPG, uh, an anime RPG. You, kind of, you go to school, you hang out, you have to go into... Uh, world of fight monsters i think it has like a card battle system heard great things about it i, I like i like um i'm liking four so far so i decided to buy it and add it to the collection and it's gonna be waiting for me until i have the time to play it all right here's the last of us remastered uh you probably all of you probably heard great things or no great this game's great it's a classic. It's one of the most iconic PS4 games. When everyone talks, anyone talks about what games you should play, this is usually on the list. Um, it's like a, a survival third-person shooter. Yeah, I remember watching gameplay of this back in the PS3 days. I never played it myself yet. It's on my to-do list. As you can see with my collection, having hundreds of games, games get put aside for probably years until I have the time to play them. Um, here's the last game I own currently. It's Akiba's Trip. 
This is like a third person in a hack and slash kind of game. Another anime game. I had this for the Vita. I loved it. So I eventually just picked up the... I used to have it for the Vita. I sold it uh, uh, regret, regrettingly. I need to pick it up again for that console. But I may wait on it because I have this version. It's probably the better version. Graphic wise. Yeah, it's a pretty cool game. Uh, cool story. Recommend it. Alright, that's my uh, physical game collection for now. I have two games... I have four games on the way. I have one from uh, Strictly Limited Games, a game called Coffee Talk. Uh, it's a pretty cool game. It's kind of like you're a, a, you're a barista at a coffee shop and you have to talk to customers and learn about their stories. It's pretty chill. Uh, I have another game it's called Mystic Bell. It's by uh, Way Forward. It's kind. I think it's a. I think it's like a third per a, a shooter maybe. I believe a, a shooter, side scrolling shooter. Uh, yeah, I decided to pick that up. Up the limited run games. I'm waiting on those, you know, because of the the virus. It's probably gonna take it till September to get both of those. Also, I uh, ordered Siberia Three. It's kind of like a story-driven game. My friend Angelo said it was pretty good, so it's worth the pick up. And then I also bought Drive Club, the uh, PS4 exclusive racing racer. Uh, yeah, uh, the gameplay of that looked pretty good overall. I picked it up cheap. Mm -hmm. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'm recording this on Mother's Day, so please give your mother some love. Buy, take, give it, uh, make her breakfast, get her some takeout, do something nice for her. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed my content. And uh, goodbye.